a brand new big fat gun control bill just got dropped in the United States Senate. It's a big attack on ammo, your bullets. They don't just want to ban your guns. And if they can't ban your guns, they want to restrict your ammo. That's what this bill does. I've got all the details. We're going to get down and dirty, short and sweet, and it's all coming up right now. Guys, if you like this information, do us a favor, like, share, subscribe to this channel, wherever you're watching this on. Comment in the comment section. It helps the algorithm because the tech gods are always killing this kinds of information. They want us to not know what's going on. So if you appreciate it, like, share, subscribe. We're going to jump right in. The bill is S3223, and it was introduced by none other than Pocahontas. Elizabeth Warren, they call her Pocahontas. She's a radical, radical leftist. And here is what the bill would do. It does four things primarily that we know of. The actual text of the bill has not been dropped yet. But Elizabeth Warren has done some videos on this. She's putting this information out there. She's very proud of her attack. And here's what we know so far. This bill will make it a put you in federal prison for the crime of buying ammo in bulk. They want to make it so you can't buy more than 50 rounds of ammo per transaction. We all know why that is. We all know why that is. They spent something like $700 million on ammo for the IRS, for the Department of Education, for all of these different agencies that the federal government controls. That's how much ammo they set aside, um, I think, for the Department of Agriculture as well. Huge, huge stores of ammo, but they want to make us say you can't buy more than 25 or 50 measly rounds of ammo per transaction. So this bill would outlaw bulk ammo purchases um, in America. Next, it would put you in federal prison for the crime of buying ammo without going through a background check. So they want background checks for all firearm sales. They call it universal background checks. Here they want a background check on all ammo purchases. So you got to fill out the form, give them your ID. They have to run a background check on you through the federal system. Also, you can buy ammo. And if you don't do that, it'll be a federal crime under S3223 that Senator Elizabeth Warren just introduced or is introducing in the United States Senate. The third thing we do is put you in federal prison for the crime of buying a box of ammo for a friend. So they're calling this now straw purchases of ammo is what they're calling this now. So I don't know about you. I've got five brothers and we have given each other more boxes of ammo for more birthdays and more Christmases than I can even tell you because it's easy um, and it doesn't require a whole lot of thought. You don't, know, you, don't know what, you don't know what you want to buy your brother for Christmas? Buy him a box of ammo. They're making a federal freaking crime. Federal crime. I don't know about you, but I pick up the ammo that both my wife and I use. That'd be a crime under this bill, S3223. The fourth thing it would do is put every ammo purchase you ever make into a federal database. And we all know what that's about. That is will simply put your name on the top of a list. If you're one of those guys who buys 1,000 rounds a year, 10,000 rounds a year, 20,000 rounds a year, your name will go higher and higher and higher. Oh, this person bought this much ammo. They will categorize that and they will target anybody um, who they think is becoming a problem, a nuisance, a threat, or whatever. They will put this stuff in a database and they will track trace and register you like sex offenders this is what the federal government does this is what senator elizabeth warren wants to do in s3223 so guys what can we do to stop it there's some action items along with this video in the comments in the description you can send your pre-written email sign your petition against this legislation but one of the biggest things we can do is simply share this information with our family and friends so that they can share with their family and friends so everybody starts talking about this legislation and how bad it is. But let us know what you think in the comment section. Do you think this stuff is going to gain traction anywhere? Um, do you think it's going to become as extreme 
as they're trying to pass. For me, it seems clear that if they can't ban our AR-15s, which they're trying to do, if they can't get a bunch of the stuff passed that they really want to do, they'll come after ammo. It seems, and they're and in some people's minds, less extreme, but in a very real way, it's it's the most egregious attack on our Second Amendment rights. So let us know what you think in the comments section. Do you think this bill is some hogwash? Um, do you think that that Elizabeth Warren has some fair points to make on this? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section. Share this video with your family and friends, guys. Take action against this legislation. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back with more information very soon.